In this example, we will be finding the square root of 10. In order to find the square root of 10, we want to look for perfect squares near 10. Examples include 3 squared, which is 9, and 4 squared, which is 16. Now we can rewrite this as an inequality by acknowledging the fact that 9 is between 10 and 16. We can then write the square root of 9 is less than the square root of 10, which is less than the square root of 16. Because 3 squared gives us 9, we can rewrite the square root of 9 as 3, and because 4 squared is 16, we can rewrite the square root of 16 as 4. Now we can see the square root of 10 is between 3 and 4. In order to find the tenths place approximation of the square root of 10, we want to look at values between 3 and 4. Let's first test out 3.1 squared. Let's see if 3.1 squared is nearby to 10. I chose 3.1 squared because 10 is very close to 9. So it's probably closer to 3 than it is to 4. So let's look at 3.1 squared. 1 times 1 is 1. 3 times 1 is 3. At our 0, 3 times 1 is 3. And 3 times 3 is 9. Now we can see we get 9.61, which is close to 10. But let's see if we can find something a little bit closer. So now let's try a larger value of 3.2 squared. So we'll do 3.2 times 3.2 to obtain 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 2 is 6, add our 0, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9. Now we will have 10.24 as our answer. And as you can see, 10.24 is much closer to 10 than 9.61. If that's confusing to you, let's just subtract 10 and 9.61. We will obtain 0.39. And if we did 10.24 minus 10, we would just get 0.24. So as you can see, 10.24 is closer to 10 than 9.61 is. So because of that, 3.2 is a better approximation. So now we can say the square root of 10 is approximately 3.2.